Hey everybody, welcome to Big Booty's Kitchen. It's been a while. Um, I've been working a lot. and My mom and everybody's been wanting my recipe for my beef tips and gravy. So, that's what we're going to make today. Um, there'll be pauses where I turn the camera off and come back because it takes about an hour and YouTube doesn't let me upload anything more than 15 minutes long. So, you're going to start off with a Dutch oven pan. And we want that on uh, just low, between medium and low heat. You need olive oil. I have about a pound and a half to two pounds of beef stew meat. I have a can of cream of onion soup. A can of cream of mushroom soup. And a can of beef broth, which I already opened, so I don't want to take too much. I have salt and pepper and brown gravy mix. You can use any kind of brand envelope of this. And then I have about five tablespoons of flour. So, and I got a chopped up onion. So I'm just gonna drizzle, eh, it's probably about two tablespoons, tablespoon, two tablespoons of olive oil in there. And then I'm gonna stick my onions in. I used to coat my meat in the flour before in a baggie, but when I was at work, because I'm working you know, out of town, uh, I didn't have baggies big enough to do that. So, and I almost forgot to do it anyhow, but I added the flour on top and then just mixed everything up, and that kind of worked well. You can see I'm adding the beef stew and the onions to the oil. And you're going to want to just kind of brown this a little bit. Next, I'm going to take my flour and I'm going to just shake it on there. I love this little cup. It's so cool. I got it for 99 cents at Walmart. Now, just add some salt, a couple shakes, however much you don't want too much, but because the broth you're putting in there and the gravy mix. Then, Then some shakes of pepper, however much pepper you like on your food. And you're going to stir this up. And you want to coat the meat and the onions with the flour. I'm going to pause this and when I get it browned up, because that takes a few minutes, I will bring you back on. And I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so this is kind of, if I can find where the camera is here, that's about what you want it to look like. Okay, that's what you want it to look like. You're not going to, like, brown it, brown it. You just want to kind of get it cooking. You're not completely cooking it in that way. And then you're going to take this can of soup or broth, I mean. Dump it in there. Give it a little my handles get hot on this can. So learned my lesson one too many times. And you're going to just stir this up. You're going to take a lid and put on it. Turn your heat down to low. So it would be simmer if you have an electric stove. Um, I browned it on five on electric stove and then turned it down to simmer. 
and you're just going to stir this occasionally. While you're waiting, it takes about a half hour to 30 minutes of just simmering to get it nice and tender. So don't skimp on that. And I'll be back then. I'm going to go have a sippy sip. Okay, so this is what it's going to kind of look like as you're cooking it. You guys stir it a little bit. Make sure that you get all the good stuff off the bottom of the pan. But you also want to make sure nothing's sticking. So it's been about 40 minutes. And give me a minute to set the camera back up. Okay. So yeah, I showed you what it looks like in the pot. It's kind of hard to do videos like this. You're going to take your soups and put them in. Now, if you don't like cream of mushroom, you can use cream of chicken. Um, some people use cream of celery. And if your family says they don't like mushrooms, trust me, they're never, ever going to know. If you take, watch this. Let's see if I can do it. Take that label off. Hey, it's some soup you put in there. Hey mom, what's in the can? Can of mystery soup. You love it. You eat it all the time. It'll be fine. My kids never knew they had cream of mushroom soup in their stuff. And they still ate it. Now, if you don't like onions, like I said, just put an extra can of cream of mushroom or You like don't like the mushrooms you can use the chicken any kind of cream of soup really I'm gonna stir that up a little bit get it mixed that right in there. Make sure you put it all. Stir it up really good. You want that mixed in really good because that's going to thicken it up. This is going to be thick gravy. But you also want to keep stirring so that you can get everything, your soup's all mixed up. and Scrape the sides of your pan. Once you get it all mixed up, I'm going to put the lid back on and let it sit for five minutes. And that will give me time to make my mashed potatoes too, but that makes it get thicker. So it's not so much a soup. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. It's all done. Now I want to tell you something. When you take a lid off of a pan, make sure you tilt it so that it opens away from you. Some people don't realize that. And if you've got mascara or something on your face, you will for sure melt that right off. So, I made some Bob Evans mashed potatoes. You can make some noodles and put this over noodles or even rice. Uh, I'm digging mashed potatoes right now. So I'm going to scoop me some of this up. I'm using a ladle because I want to make sure I get some of the good gravy. No more gravy for me. And that's what you get. It's really good. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's a little too hot to eat right now or I'd take a bite. Now, I do want to say a little shout out to my girl, Clean Freaks. They uh, do my cleaning for me while I'm out of town and she cleaned up my kitchen real nice for me. And uh, so I wanted to give her a shout out, give them a call. If you want a cleaning lady, they do amazing, trust me. And uh, this is uh, my new cup. And that is from my She Shed Designs, Miss Debbie. So shout out to her too. So you guys enjoy your, it's Sunday. You enjoy your Sunday and the Browns won.